welcome back to the channel guys so as you can see i'm in the lake district and uh tonight it looks like i'm gonna have a pretty incredible view um so it is uh still quite early um which is really nice a nice change from the winter camps up here where you have to basically set up the tent right away before it gets dark um, i have quite a few hours actually of sunlight left so i'm gonna take my time i have a nice uh, flat pitch right here with as you can see an incredible view uh, i'm gonna go ahead and set up the tent and then yeah get back to you guys in just a little bit i think most people know this but even though it's not super windy today, we are getting some gusts, so it's always a good idea just to tie it off so you don't have your tent blowing away on you. All right, tent's all set up. And uh, <laughs> wow, what a view this is. Absolutely incredible. It's nice to actually camp up on the peaks, but sometimes it's nice to camp just below them, especially if you have a view of them like this. Jeez, this is absolutely stunning. All right, so now that uh, tent's all set up, I'm gonna go ahead and find water, um, even though I have plenty of time and plenty of water. Um, I know I'll drink this and I'll probably need some more for the morning, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get that done. I did see a little, um, I don't even know if you could call it a tarn, it's quite tiny over here. Uh, there's a little, a lot of little boggy pools around, but um, they look a bit stagnant and definitely not as clear as that water uh, that we saw a little bit earlier that I was able to get some from. But uh, yeah, this tarn is a little bit down, so I'm gonna go ahead and hike down and uh, get some water. So yeah, what I was talking about. So this area is all boggy right here, and you can see there's some tiny little pools of water, but uh, <laughs> They don't look too appealing, so I'm going to head down a bit further to uh, that larger body of water and see how that looks. I was making my way down to that small tarn and uh, those boggy areas that I'm camped near they all collect into this and then this looks like it runs all the way actually down to it um, it's still quite a ways down uh, instead of going there because uh, this is nice and flowing water uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill up here oh yeah that looks fantastic 
nice. Nice and clear. All right. So that saved me a bit of a walk. It was uh, all the way down there still. I still had quite a ways to go. Um, can't even see the tent where I'm at. Uh, this is also why uh, you gotta be really careful when winter camping here. There's a lot of these places and uh, there's holes everywhere. You wouldn't want to fall into something like this once it's covered. Oh jeez! Oh, like I just did. <laughs> that went up to my knee. That hole right there. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Here's another one I just almost stepped in. Yeah, this area's riddled with them. And be really careful. So the tent's just up over that bit there. You can maybe get a glimpse of the top of it. That's quite a walk down. Wow, what a spot though. My goodness. And the weather's fantastic. Uh, I know some of you out there like the crazy weather camps, wind, rain, all that stuff. Uh, but it's really nice to just get a nice calm night like this. Well, I don't want to jinx myself. <laughs> it's supposed to be calm. And the weather forecast is turning out to be right on par with what it said so far. So, yeah. So incredible. Might even get to cook outside the tent tonight. <laughs> All right, there it is. Home sweet home. Yeah, I'd say that's a nice fit. Wow. Although it's nice and sunny out, um, it's actually really quite cold. And I think tonight it's actually supposed to get down uh, below zero. So winter's not quite done with this yet. The days are long, which is really, really nice. I don't think sunsets until 8.30, which is incredible because like I think I've mentioned this before, but when I try to do these trips up to the Lake District in the winter, it's getting dark at like four. Yeah, it's it's nearly impossible to get a big hike in um, and then have enough time to actually sit and enjoy, enjoy it sometimes. So it's really nice to actually have the extra time. Um, I think I still, yeah, it's only 5.44 and I think it gets dark around 8.30, so I still have uh, a few hours. So pretty awesome um, so yeah actually I might uh, just sit relax for a little bit and then I'll probably start cooking dinner a little bit earlier tonight so I can maybe you know just enjoy uh, the last little bit of sun sunlight before calling it a night all right so that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna relax and then I'll uh, I'll get back with you guys soon
Hello. All right. So it's been a little bit since I talked to you guys, probably about an hour and a half or so. Um, just been hanging out. I had to put on the puffy. It's, it's actually gotten quite chilly, uh, but I actually just got done flying the drone. Yeah, hopefully you got to see a better idea of where I'm at. Such an incredible spot. So this was the first time I've actually come from this other side. Uh, and gotta say, it's actually quite nice because it's uh, a bit more isolated, actually a lot more isolated, um, and there's very few people. I don't think the pass is open in the winter. I could be wrong. Um, even if it was though, I don't think I'd drive it. Uh, it's quite narrow. Usually I park on this side of the mountains, uh, Seathwaite, and then walk up. And I actually, that's how I was able to do Scalfell Pike uh, from that direction up. It's, I really like this spot because it's so isolated. It's kind of cool. I haven't seen a soul, even off in the distance, which is pretty awesome. All right, so enough rambling. Um, like it's only, I think it's only 6.30 or so, 6.45. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, cooking. I worked up a bit of an appetite. Um, and actually, I think I'm gonna try to actually cook outside the tent a bit uh, for the first time. <laughs> I don't usually get to because of either rain or wind. So it's kind of a nice change. So yeah, let's get started. So tonight on the menu, I'm making a uh, kind of a one pan uh, Italian-ish <laughs> um, chicken dish. So should be good.
right, so that's my Italian chicken. Um, let's go find a nice spot to eat. Just a combination of a bunch of really good things. One of the things you can do if you're making this for uh, more than just one person, once you add the onion, garlic, and the tomatoes, and have let them simmer for a little bit, you go ahead and add some orzo and a little bit of chicken stock, and then simmer that until the or orzo cooks. And it makes a nice uh, little pasta dish as well with the chicken, of course. Not a bad way to end the night. Cheers, guys. Oh, so good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this before it gets cold, because it is absolutely freezing outside right now. I gotta put a, a beanie on. Um, enjoy the view, and uh, yeah, I'll get back to you guys in just a little bit. finished dinner it's pretty good um, <laughs> I had to go get my beanie on it is freezing outside Ugh. I kind of want to sit out and just enjoy the the view and the last of the light even with my puffy pretty cold with the wind <laughs> drinking an ice-cold beer Probably doesn't help either. Ugh. It's really nice to, you know, climb up these mountains and camp up there, but uh, being down just below the peaks almost gives you a better view. Just absolutely incredible. But if you are interested in some pretty good views as well, um, well, actually, I think in the camera, I think that's Ilcrag you're seeing over there, uh, but just to the left of it here is Scottfell Pike. I'll leave a link to the video for that camp um, if you're interested. Really enjoy that camp. But honestly, I think this might be the best views I've had. And actually, when I was flying the drone, um, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, I may have uh, stolen this pitch from Solo Summiter. He's another YouTuber. But I saw a video say a month ago or so um, of him doing a camp in this area I think I might actually be in the exact same spot that he's pitched I'll have to go back and look at his video when I get home uh, just to see but when I was flying the drone it looks so familiar yeah but I wouldn't be surprised if I'm not in his exact same spot I was actually looking for something on this uh, taller area over here but when I was up there uh, placing that rock on the cairn I actually looked down and I saw this area and that it was nice and flat so I came over here so uh, yeah you should uh, go ahead and check out his uh, YouTube he he mainly does hikes in the the Lake District sometimes in Snowdonia as well but uh, yeah if you're like me and you just like to see people camping especially in beautiful areas like this uh, he has a pretty good channel so check him out all right well I'm almost done with my beer I think I'm gonna retreat back to the tent just to get out of the wind. It's not super windy, but there's enough of a breeze that it's just zapping all the heat from my body. So, just look at the views from the tent. I 
I didn't bring my gloves. I did actually bring something that'll help with warming my hands and the tent maybe a little bit too. Trusty candle lantern. No. Fail. Alright, after four failed attempts at lighting this, I had to bring it in the tent. Oh, much better. There we go. Oh, that feels amazing. It's so nice to have the uh, light of a candle. I have the LED light with me. It's a black diamond. It's nice because it can basically do any color of the rainbow, so I can actually mimic this exact same color, which is awesome. But uh, just having, you know, the warmth of the candle is really nice right now. Just to warm your hands. All right. Well, I'm going to get a bit more comfortable. Uh, maybe blow up the uh, air mattress so I have something a little softer to sit on and uh, yeah start settling in for the night watch the last of the light I am gonna get up with the Sun I think first lights almost at 5 a.m. now so I'll probably be up at 5 a.m. if not before so we get to bed early tonight put the thermometer out here just to see what the temperature is. Oh wow. I knew it was cold. <laughs> so this is just sitting out uh, outside the tent on the guy line and it is almost, uh, it's probably negative three. That makes sense. <laughs> it felt really cold. It's deceiving when it's sunny and pretty like this. All right, so now that I know what the temperature is outside, I'm gonna go ahead and stick it inside the tent. Just to get an idea of the uh, temperature difference, I'm curious. It feels significantly warmer out here than it does even sticking my hand out with the slight breeze, but I'm really glad I brought this, actually. Just for that additional bit of heat. All right, I'm gonna get a little bit more comfortable and um, yeah, enjoy the last of the light. bag for a second just to warm up I'm freezing so nice out all right now I have to go out there and get the camera uh, <laughs> I'm so comfortable I need a remote or something oh. all right Finally got warmed up. Um, it's actually pretty late now. It's 1020. Alright. I'm gonna drink this. And I'll get back with you to say goodnight. Alright, I'm beat. I'm gonna have to wake up at 5 a.m. so I'm gonna go ahead and head to bed. I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Good night.
morning. Oh. It's already bright out. Oh, that was a rough one. Really cold last night. It got really cold. No condensation though. It was a breeze all night too, if that probably helped. Anyway. Alright. Time to get up. Make some coffee. That was not the best sleep. I had to get up 1 a.m. Make a hot water bottle to put inside my sleeping bag. Yeah, I don't know why it feels so cold outside. Beautiful morning though. Yeah, there's no frost on the ground. I feel like it feels colder than when I uh, did the snow camp. <laughs> oh man. I just realized I threw my coffee bag in my bag um, and I thought it was an extra from the pack I usually take out in the woods. It's just the empty. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Oh, man. Luckily, I at least have an extra tea with me. Not my preferred drink in the morning, but at least it'll be uh, a warm beverage. Oh, man, that's brutal. Can't believe I didn't notice it was empty. Oh well.
leave no trace as always. And one last look at this view. What a fantastic spot. Such a beautiful area. So that bit of trees off in the distance um, is actually where the pass is. So that's where we're headed. It doesn't look that far, but it was about, I think three and a half miles to the car, um, to that spot. So. It's a little bit of a trek, but all downhill this time. Wow, hopefully I caught that on camera. I think that was the first uh, large deer I've actually ever seen in the Lake District. He just ran across over there. Spooked me. Didn't expect to see such a large animal. Uh, running by. Looks like someone else is out camping last night as well. This is why I don't like brightly colored tents though. It stands out like a sore thumb and I'm quite a distance away. Morning. That looks like it might actually be a nallow in red. Even to this day, even though I've been doing this a little bit now, I still find it ridiculous to uh, set up a camera and walk away from it, walk toward it, and all that. It makes for a better video, but it still seems and sometimes feels a bit ridiculous. You get used to it, but I can't imagine someone off in the distance like Mr. Red Tent out there. I don't know if you can see him, but I can still see him. It's a good spot, actually. Um, yeah, seeing someone <laughs> walking away from a camera, door to camera. I, you get used to it. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna wrap up the video here uh, with that view. Such a fantastic spot. Really, really glad I came out for this one. Um, got perfect weather too, which is nice for change. But uh, yeah, hopefully you liked the video. If you have any questions or uh, comments or just want to say hi, uh, just leave them down below. And um, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Please like, share, get outside. Later.